All right. Good. Good. Bring it in slowly. Bring it in slowly. Good. Great. Perfect. Right there. Perfect. Hmm. Well done, guys. Get out. Get off my stage. Tony, nobody said it was lunchtime yet. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Let's not fuck this up, guys. Will you fuck off, you Montana mook? You goddamn West Virginia root, get the fuck out of my soundstage. Will you take it easy, you fucking meathead? Bring it back. Back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Back. There you go. Set it down. Easy. Easy. Easy! No, don't drill that. We're gonna need the cameras over there. And the light set up, uh, over there. Well, someone balance the goddamn lights already. The yellow's off. The yellow is off. I can see it from down here. The yellow is off. Who's up there? Andre! Andre! Fix that for me, will ya? Jesus Christ, I can't get any good help around here. Hello? Is this thing on? Hey! Hello? Is this thing on? Where's my mics? I asked, where's my mics? Where's my microphones? There's a big box at the entrance of this place. On the right. Did someone take it? Who the fuck put them back there? Get them out of here. We need them set up right now. Yes. Yes. No. That plug goes there. This plug goes here. Who the fuck taught you how to set this shit up? It wasn't me. Who the fuck taught you how to set this shit up? It certainly wasn't me. Why the fuck did I even hire you? Get out of here! Andre, yes, Andre. I need you right center stage. Andre, you okay up there? You knocked something, the light's off again. Fuck. Tony, I need your help over here. That box, I need you to put center stage. We need to balance the lights, it's still fucked up. Where's my goddamn microphones? I need one of the microphones off stage, right? One center stage, one off the left. I need some suspend above. We have a prima donna singing center stage. She wants to be heard clear and crisp. If we don't get that right, this contract's out the fucking window. You hear me? Get the mic set up, goddammit. Where's the fucking piano? I said, where's the fucking piano? Who the fuck puts a piano on stage right? It should be on stage left. Get that over there. Where's the fucking backdrop? That's the backdrop. Did someone fall into that? It's fucking torn. That backdrop's wrecked. We need a new one. Get out of here. Tony, Tony, that goes over there. Yes, over there. I know I said over there before. I need it over there now. That's in the way of the microphone. Okay. Fuck. All right, everyone. I got about 20 minutes left. Chop, chop, let's go. Fuck, we're never gonna get paid at this rate. What the, all right. Who's laying down the wires without taping them down? That's a fucking hazard. Someone falls in that wire and breaks their leg. I ain't paying for that, and neither is the contract. We have to get that shit taped down now. The fuck? What the? Who hasn't been taping down the wires? That's a stage hazard. People move around in the dark back there. If you don't tape that down, there's gonna be an injury, and I'm not paying for workman's comp. You hear me? You're gonna be on disability from the government. I'm never gonna hire your ass again. And whoever I find out did not take that shit down, I'm gonna break your legs myself! Hey, 
everyone, who's taking the tape off the stage? Those are markers for a reason. They're not there for decoration. Stop doing that. Over there. All right, curtains forward. Perfect. Oh, that's so lovely. How's the mics? Good. Clear right. Good on the left. Someone, Andre, I need your beautiful voice. Get down here. Sing for me. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Get out! Perfect. All right, everyone, let's get the hell out of here. Well, we are here. Um, this is a product of an update video that took too, length, too long to record and too long to edit. So I'm going to be adding this little uh, prefacing uh, tangent saying that, yeah, this was about recorded on April 11th of 2019, um, right before my uh, 26th birthday. Unnecessary information aside, uh, most of the uh, stuff stated here is still holds true. Um, most of anything, if anything changes, it's the execution or the way it would actually be going about the said topic. Um, for the most part, most of it's already like in production at the moment. A um, few things to add on. There are two albums in production. Actually, technically three music albums uh, in production. And we, I also have uh, about a good documentary or two or three coming along the way as well as two videos on Austin McConnell and uh, a video on the controversy that surrounded Coffee Break. As old as it was and old as it is uh, the right opinion did make a good video on it but however I'd like to actually put up a plate of my serving of justice I guess. Well um, in any case, we have uh, other miscellaneous videos and other shitpost videos that I'll put out every once in a while. Other than that, everything in here sh is a good listen. Uh, you can stop the record, I would say. Give me another few seconds and then uh, stop the record and uh, pull the needle off. Um, otherwise... Um, enjoy the update video I guess that's a little bit better than usual a little bit stop recording up here stop recording over here probably stop recording over here stop recording you like Fortnite. We love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. Let us get this bread. Okay. <coughs> Hello. You say hi to the audience? Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to run over things, and in order for that not to look like a basic vlog, uh, I decided that it'd be blah, 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 really blah, blah, nice. Uh, I decided it'd be nice to actually have more camera angles, more lighting, green screen use, and more stuff. There you go. All that in. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I have, uh, new idea, welcome to the, the round robin review, and this is exactly what I'm fucking doing. I'm the round robin, nice to meet you. Dead, yep, you bit. Uh, it's new format, uh, how's this sound? Uh, I got a new format, and, uh, 
that I want to do. This show is uh, just going to be essentially an outline for things to come because I can't bother with update videos because they're boring and I hate them. And also, I want to be able to do something with it. Uh, that being said, I also want to do a new format for videos. If anything, the main content will be first. Wait, 10 seconds in black, 10 to 20, and then uh, essentially uh, behind the scenes and everything. Yeah, until the, the void consumes. And that's really the main part. Uh, but, I mean, we have the new... The, I want that new format. I want that format of just kind of like being able to have all the raw footage and hand it out there and show what I've done and kind of give some, some insight behind the scenes, like the end of VHS back behind the scenes peek shit. Behind the yeah, a peek behind the curtain. See, the wizard just has a really big head. Well, you have like a regular size head. It's like a big cock. He just made it look big with a projector. No, like a big, big head on his pee pee. I don't think that was part of the movie. Uh, it was. It was. It was. Uh, it was. I think, I think it was, I put down this because it's just like, I want it to be archival, uh, mainly because I, I want the, the footage of what I've done to not be, like, gone to waste, and storage is a bitch, I guess, but I'm, I'm always uh, trying to be redundant in storing my data, uh, which is why I want to store it and actually give all the raw footage, because I want to put all my videos into kind of... Creative Commons. I want to be able to give uh, people the the use of my stuff, my raw footage. And doesn't that seem fair? You can use my footage, so any oh. footage that I'm in, can't use it. Yeah. Not even you. Yeah. Oh. This is all out. You can't. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, gay. Turn off all the cameras. Turn no, off the lights. No more cameras. Nothing. I gotta I gotta chop out all the audio with you. Yeah. Redacted. Uh, that's fine. Every time I talk, whatever. Like a black bar and just a, like a very loud beeping noise. How about how about every time you talk, it's the uh, the Fortnite. Just the whole Fortnite. Fortnite. Play, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah, that really sounds good. that sounds fucking deadening to yeah. to the soul. Nah. Fucking gone. Not good. Uh, I want to do creative comments because I feel like if okay. With how much content uh, a YouTuber is supposed to actually produce and put out there, or at least, like, ex expected to produce weekly, at the very least. Ten minutes, fifteen minutes, whatever. Getting that ad time. I feel like uh, a YouTuber kind of contributing to that. YouTuber, Professional, yeah. yeah. Uh, career YouTuber. Yeah. Kind of contributing to that, that Creative Commons, that database of shit that anyone can grab and, you know, hone in on. Would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of, kind of feeds itself. I'm gonna. Ooh, boy! I can still hear myself on the phone. Yeah, it just. But it, it still. YouTube is constantly eating its tail. I mean, yeah. Trying to consume itself, but it's growing too fast. I mean, are you aware that there are so many videos out there on on YouTube saying how can you get rich off YouTube? Essentially, they're advising you to make top tens from Creative Commons footage. And I'm like. Uh oh, oh, oh. Or they'll just tell you, do what other people are doing. It's like, like, yeah, okay, that worked for them though. Not that doesn't mean I can do it. <gasps> you mean I can abuse my children? No, you don't have children. Not after what happened. I can make children. No, you already made that. You already done. That. In my lab. Yes. My lab of wood. My wood lab. Geppetto? No, I'm a carpenter. No, I was gonna say Geppetti. <laughs> it's not as fucking. Name. Yeah, it's it's Mario Geppetti. Hey. Famous stock car driver and puppet maker. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, it's so dumb. It's fucking awful. Uh, uh. In any case, it just like it feels like it's freedom and it's creativity, 
and you can throw shit out to the internet. Fuck, even uh, all the all the down the rabbit holes. Those are licensed under uh, Creative Commons. Oh, yeah. So, and it's able. He's able to use the footage because it's still in fair use kind of practice. So it's now it's pushed under Creative Commons. Um, I guess the only hazard I'm well aware of. And I'm, I'm gonna pitch this to you. What what could possibly be abused by a YouTuber trying to essentially have a personality and using Creative Commons work or, or producing things under Creative Commons where anyone can use this footage and raw footage as I will be uploading. If you say the M word. Yeah. It's bad. It's also like a worse thing of a Streisand effect. Yeah. Yeah. Um... In addition, uh, I think, if anything, because one, I wouldn't only wouldn't only not just do it. The idea of um, of you know, like how shitty YouTubers like DMCA take down, you know, take down this video. You talk bad about me. Devil May Cry Ascension or something. I don't. I don't yeah, Devil May Cry Ascension. They just played a gameplay and they go, "Stop making fun of me." I was gonna. I like Dante. He's my favorite. Don't make fun of me. For why am I still getting hate? Why am I still getting red orbs? I don't even have low health <laughs> No, it's the green orb. Shit, I'm not a real gamer. <coughs> Fuck! See, that's what they're going to take out of context. They're going to yeah. show that I'm not a real gamer. So, uh, the reason being is... I, Career's over. If anything, I'd probably say like some things are just... Uh, I, I want them... I don't give a shit. I'm not going to do the non-derivative fucking shit. Because that's fucking stupid. I don't like that. Um, but, whatever I kind of want to stay more or less on my channel, I'd probably do, like, eh, just maybe non-commercial on your end. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> that'd be probably all I ask, but uh, if anything, fuck it, man. It, like, the hazard of that is just kind of like if I say anything bad or, or people can edit fucking things, and technically they would have the raw footage. While I admit that, I just would rather that be out there in the, in the ether. Yeah, don't say the N-word. Yeah. Um, Nipples. Like, can you imagine, like, if... Let's say if Logan Paul actually had all of his fucking vlogs, like, in Creative Commons. Just so much shit to, ed to have fun editing with. I think I would just cut all of the screaming bits and just make a really long screen. <laughs> just a nice Maybe super kind of cut. slow them down too so they get like that weird like, like a weird distortion to it. Oh, like a bad fucking stretch. Yeah. yeah. Just just make like a really awful video. Uh, make me happy and I'd laugh for hours. I think I, I like I, I have um this next topic because I put gamey grumples. Mm. Uh because I'm gonna make a video. Uh and I put the title over there that I'm pretty much gonna use. It's Game Grumps and the Death of Dreams. Uh That's quite the title. Yeah, for very good reason. I, I think Aaron has uh, pretty much given up uh, on that dream. A like I said, it's mainly an outline. This is only casting out what I did uh, in the video. I will be addressing fucking video LS Mark made. Um, this game grumps video is like really, it's really weak. But I will, I will like to. Congratulate him on some things. He did do some research. It felt like, but mm. it feels like it's still kind of lacking. So play devil's advocate to his points, but also help. Devil May Cry's advocate. Yeah, Devil May Cry's advocate, Which and uh, Devil May Cry for some mm -hmm. and, it, and it won't just be Aaron, unlike uh, kind of a lot of LS Marks things, which we should probably watch because it's it was an okay watch. Yeah, and I think I, I, I enjoy LS Mark and kind of his format, but uh, I think a lot of his arguments come up weak. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'm like Turkey Tom, maybe. Turkey Tom has like a good fault. Like the... It's really weak. Yeah. But Turkey Tom, uh, I like other videos. I think there's just ones that I'm just like, you're absolutely either off base or like playing out a point too long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much that. One of the things I was going to do is uh, this one. I uh, put Explorating, because I was going to do 
exploratory and then exploring. I got mixed up when I wrote that, and I didn't realize that. Exploratory. Yeah, exploratory. Yes, exploratory. I, es- I explore a uh, uh, Fringe genres. And so what that oh, means... the show Fringe? Yeah, Fringe. Genre shows. Shows that are genre, you know, hey, uh, what's, what's the show? It's like, oh, it's uh, a Fringe, you, you know, the TV show? It's the whole fucking tag. But they have to submit to every TV station, every entertainment. It's just the same show. They just have different actors saying the lines. Of yeah. Fringe. Oh my god. Who the vo- Bob, most- I'm an alien. I, I've seen like two episodes, I think, of that show. But yeah, I think Bob's an alien. If there's a guy named Bob, probably an alien. Gonna- oh my god. Just the same exact... What if I was somehow right? What if there was a line, Bob, I'm an alien. Well, not Bob's not an alien. Shit. There's the other guy. That's Jeff. Bob. You're hey. an alien. Hey, Bob. Bob. Hey, babe. Bob. I'm an alien. Boop. Boop. Uh, but I do, did put uh, fringe, fringe genres, which I think I, I want to do. Uh, and I wrote in my card, Extra Tone Plus Plus. Uh, I want to go through those genres. Because one, I made a statement to uh, Anthony Fantano. Because I wanted it to go into to Let's Argue. But uh, I guess I put it up somewhere. But the point being was that I wanted... There? There? There. there. I have a green here, but I think I'll just take any there. color value and just say maybe fuck that. Right here. Yeah. I think, but... I just want to make your life harder. Yeah. Right there? Put it all right here. I'll just take the color blue and I take it out of like, the entire scene. To, like, like, here's the, the beginning of the comment and then, like, it, it'll go through. That's what you'll do. That's what you'll do. That's what you'll fucking do. Bitch. Uh, Sweet boy. So, I guess here's here's I can't do it. I hate it too much. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it with her. Um, I want to go through genres. Of fucking music that are, are so fucking stupidly abstract and, and such fucking almost nothing. Like danger music? Like danger music, yes, yes, yes. And the other sub genres that I have, that probably fucking has. Because you know, shoegaze is it's related to grunge. Art. Comes off of grunge, right? It's artistic. Uh huh. It's just noise. The fucking. Oh, art shit stick, am I? The shit stick. Going. Uh, here's what I have. Fucking eraser to go through this. So, talk about. That's yeah, fucking that, man. Uh, and that one. But the main point was that it's a. Uh, End around Robin review. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Because that's what's going on right now. <gasps> Who wants to suck my own cock? CAF board. Uh, actually, that was next. What? Yeah, no, that was that was next. That's uh, that's the, fucking that's the cringy anime force four. Oh, uh, which I put up there mainly because I wanted to bring up the point that I had a <sighs> I'd written a comment on that last PewDiePie video uh, that uh, I didn't post because I uh. I thought about it, and I was like, nah, fuck it. I'd rather be angry for 30 straight consecutive minutes while I try to cool off my goddamn fucking uh, meds. But in the shower, I wrote, all right, I thought we were done with the anime man, but all right. Throw him down the whole obscurity and let his channel stagnate with faux intellectual clickbait points that make him come off like game ranks. 
and stunningly close-minded opinions, informed by too small of a sample size from somebody who's been on YouTube for a while, I would feel like Joey would just emit f the foul odor of his somewhat disingenuous behavior and attitude. Disregarding the fact that his chosen name is so bland, the idea of Joey being the anime man or any form of authority or informant about anime and other fringe-related topics, pulling, uh, pulling from the content of his videos, is almost laughable, considering that his approach is almost from this peculiar perspective that always positions himself and everyone joining his narrative, a much bigger problem that can be addressed later on, as an outsider making the statements and topics come off as being a guy that wants to distance himself from any involvement or association with any community at all. The idea that his reasoning for hating a particular concept is usually based on anecdotal evidence from a video that takes too painstakingly long, even disregarding the constant assertions that roughly amount to saying, I came in with an open mind every few minutes to tell a story that can be summed up in about three to five minutes. In addition to the previous videos, the topics of his content, uh, videos and podcasts have been the most lazy and unoriginal topics to discuss. Even more aggravating to listen to two people discuss at length. Nice vlogs that are cheaply made and f quickly edited with the same dead horse joke Zoom and uh, anime motion lines, green screen effect that's floating around YouTube. Right here. Yeah, just uh, uh. logical fallacies in spades for all to see. Made as the spearhead of his argument, uh, fairly consistently without depth or explanation, it makes sense when you appeal to the lowest common denominator of anime watchers, the ones that used to watch anime years ago during high school or middle school but commonly utter a similar sentiment to I gotta get back into watching anime to everybody that would talk about it around them what about his opinions on shows and movies if his opinions are worth anything go listen to anybody else on his podcast he had stated after watching a thing he just looks around to see what everybody else is saying to form an opinion well, that's an amazing fucking, uh, that's an amazing that a Google search told you your opinion. Yeah. What a goddamn maroon. There's nothing that should be celebrated about his content. And, uh, if you want proof, play a clip of that fucking podcast right here, because I have that on hand. But it's... Play it right here. Play it right there? Play the audio through this pillow. Yeah, I'll make it like Spectrum. No, I want it. I want the sound to come out of here. You want to use some 8D audio? Yeah. Coming from that direction? I'm fucking better. I'm going to be pissed, bro. I'm going I'm to come too hard. Uh, that's inappropriate. <coughs> that's gross. I'm offended. What's happening? Are you taking a selfie? No, I guess I, uh... I thought it stopped recording. You're a fool. You're a damn fool. I tell you. Uh. That's that, I guess. Uh, but the other members of the cringy anime force for would be, I guess, revealed later on. Again, this is a fucking outline. I think it's just better to, you know, have fucking. If anime get man's becoming more relevant, I think it's more that we should probably address it while it's here. Yeah, I agree. Get him while he's hot. Get him while he's hot and get him while he's up. Yeah, well, yeah. He's, he's past a million. Just get yourself on PewDiePie. Yourself you know what's real sad? Felix Shelberg. Anime Man has collaborated with Kazuna Eye, but Felix has yet to. So that's... That's Ooh. all I have to say about that. That's pretty uh, weak. Forested Gump would say. The forests of Gump. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I have it on my notes. The anime man. Uh, no, not the anime. Fuck that. I can't even. I can't get it off of my mind. 
can't get you out of my head. Uh, boy, your love is all I think about. Uh, feature man, the, the old man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the old man who eats watermelon. Yeah. He's great. Uh, there's a few things. April 10th. He celebrates his 13th year on YouTube. That's fucking great. Yeah. It makes you really happy. He has a fucking book. He's just a good... He's just good. Yeah. It's, he's fucking... He's a good old man. And I... I Fuck, I'd love to interview him. He's doing his thing, man. He's fucking great. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a little jazzy song about T series and PewDiePie. Oh, it's fucking wonderful. I'm just gonna do a little thing, cause why not? I love it. I love I'm gonna clone myself eating a whole watermelon, cause uh, just to show that I can eat a whole watermelon. Yeah, he eats the whole fucking thing with the rind. Yeah. Just, I just love it. I love it. He's such a sweet man. Yeah. And uh, he doesn't really give a shit. He fucking does stock portfolios of his fucking his stocks that he trades, and then meals. And he's frugal about his meals. He's like, "Hey, who wants a one dollar meal? Like a really good meal?" I'm like, "This sounds like fun." He's just he's just like a genuine dude. Yeah, and he's been like in Hollywood movies for like seven years. Yeah. <laughs> fucking great, old man, but fucking Christ, love him. Yeah. Uh. Uh, speaking of that, thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, not the ones who uh, yell at Denny's. Yeah. And yell at fucking. Get mad because you have to prepay gas. Get mad because you're fucking. Uh, ah, this is different than it was yesterday. Ah. <laughs> I have anger because I have nothing. I'm dying soon. I'm gonna die. So I want everyone to hate everything. Okay. <laughs> All the locusts come out of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just a bunch of dust. Oh, it's terrifying. A, yeah. Just uh, into a sand tornado. Uh, additionally related, though, you know, he is celebrating his 13 years. I think it's been long enough. Uh, you want to do a monkey check for me? Is monkey back on YouTube? Is, is like his, his whole channel back? No. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, I guess. I don't know. It's fucking stupid. No, it's absolute bullshit. Because, like, one of the things he, he did talk about is he, he lost... Well, that's gay. Water has been spilled. What's that? The yeah. levees have broke. Uh. Uh. Like the technical difficulties thing. Yeah, I was trying to hit the tone. Oh, I'll fucking difficulty. just put up the fucking. I'll put up the technical difficulties. Actually, like logo, like the test pattern, <laughs> and then just keep it voice. Be fucking better. Uh, Comedy gold, bitch. Uh, thatch. Yeah, is that funny? Is that funny yet? Did anybody hear it? Hear what I said? I said bitch. Please tell a joke fourteen more times. The thing I love, well, the thing the thing is, is that it's really fr fucking frustrating and disheartening. Because he had, like, a shit ton of videos. He didn't save everything. Not everything's on his new fucking website. If they just gave him the honest courtesy to just give him his videos, which he did actually say, I would think that would look so much better as a PR thing for fucking YouTube. Yeah. Just give him his videos... Because it is bullshit, because it's, it's like, okay, close him off from, you know, putting out videos, but he should still have his fucking account. He should yeah. be able to do whatever he wants in his basically private account that yeah. no one can see. I think that's that's hot shit. You know, it just it just comes off as, as garbage. Because it's so fucking disheartening, because it's they're like... They're just making choices. They're just, they're just going, you're gone. He essentially like other people can do same shit or worse shit than you're doing but we don't like you for what you fucking stand for and we're gonna make a fucking point of it to just fucking erase you yeah just end you I think the they fucking keep trying to do it when you pop up again I think the worst part is the fucking the frustrating part 
about okay it's frustrating but also celebratory uh steve gunner also got taken down roughly around the same time they got it back they got it back after like a good i think it was two months two fucking months dude it's dumb But then, they came back. The thing that, that hits, that could probably hit Siva Gunner and take it down almost absolutely and positively, was, would be like, um, copyright infringement. Because the, the algorithmic uh, audio scanning could fucking just pick up shit and be like, hey, is that from, uh, is that from Get Lucky? Well, because, yeah, I mean, they, they've, I mean, the way the claims work, I mean... Someone can fucking hum the tune of a song, and it's like, yeah, that's the song. Yeah, even if it's like off tune and way like it's clearly being hummed. Yeah, shit still pops up. It gets fuck. It's weird. Man. It's getting, it's getting stupid. It's, it's getting, getting stupid. absolutely retarded. But like, in any case, he's essentially made documentaries. Yeah, he made uh, what was it, the Falcon whole goddamn week, the leak week. Where everything was, I think each video was like fucking forty minutes at least. And it was, there was it's so stupid to be like he, he wasn't glorifying Elliot Rogers. I think it's garbage that his he, book got taken down the too. The more and more he put into it, the 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 levels of detail that you know about him doesn't paint a pretty picture. He's a he was a bitter, stupid fucking prick of a person. Yeah, and it's it's it, it's vile that you would think you just start seeing how he viewed the world and how he thought of himself as such a fucking victim. Yeah. When he was... It's like, yeah, nobody liked you because you were unlikable, dude. He kind of just a shithead. You were an asshole. You know, admittedly, if he wasn't such a shitbag in the first place, I mean, he's not, like, an awful-looking dude. No, if he just wasn't such a shit. You know, yeah. I don't know. Act like a human being. Because things didn't work out for me when I just wanted them to work out. I'm mad about it. Yeah, he's, he's the dude who grows up and being mad he's not the, the, the shonen protagonist. Yeah. That gets taken to the isekai world. Because he's just, he's just really smart and cunning. He just, he just he has a ruled there so fast. But, but <laughs> if only someone would talk to me. <laughs> he just failed miserably. In his, in his last act, he still just was a fuck up. I mean, yeah. Which I, as evil as it sounds, kind of love that. Because it's like, yeah, that's what you kind of fucking deserve. You, you fucked up. In life and death. It's like, yeah, we all, I don't know, it's just, there's no, I feel like there was just no self-reflection in that man. Yeah. In that boy, in that dumb boy. And I think that's just no, the amount of no self-reflection and no, like. That's what I loved, I loved about those things, is like, yeah, like, there was a little meme of Elliot Rogers, you know, there was the meme of Elliot Rogers in his, on his channel and everything, but. A lot of it was a genuine interest into the mind of a fucking shooter. Somebody who would be willing to do that. Yeah, and, and what was So it? much was found about him, and it's 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 interesting, and not in a way that, like, I'm worshipping him. I clearly don't. I fucking hate him. And then there's... He's a piece of shit. There, are, they, are they worried about, like, the, the Charlie Manson thing, where, like, the girls were lining outside wanting to marry him? I don't, I don't know. I don't get... I don't... It's just, like, of... Mice and of men. all of the, of, yeah, of all the videos conveying those kind of people, I feel like his were the most. Just the most, like, showing. The, yeah. the, the, the most revealing of something, and it shows the really shitty part about it. It doesn't try to glorify them or try to make light of what they did it, 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 made, it it's, showed that he was wrong in a lot of things yeah it, it shows that he's just a fucking failure a piece of shit and yeah his life wasn't amazing all the time but also wasn't that fucking bad yeah he made it worse I just I can't 
And Seems for, stupid. And for that to be like their biggest thing to stick on, it's just like, it's like he painted such a bad light for him. He literally, one of the videos was just showing how he failed in every aspect of his fucking day of retribution. Yeah. And he did everything wrong. He didn't get anything he wanted accomplished. I still have a copy of his, uh, yeah, yeah, that's action news. I still have a copy of his uh, video that he wanted spread around. Hmm. Which is the ten, it's like a listing of ten ways of how he actually didn't fuck up with YouTube. Pointing out all the flaws and everything like that. And he wanted it to get spread around, so he uh, put in the description a Google Drive folder that's shareable. Anyone who clicks it can take on the video, the thumbnail, the description, tags, title. Got a plan. Might hire Fiverr work to upload that video genuinely to a good lot of sites mm. that will get a lot of fucking exposure. Pornhub. Pornhub, dude. Pornhub is like the new YouTube. Like, yeah, it's pretty good. Well, it's getting there. I like it. Sadly, yeah, sadly, yeah. Uh, I think it was Joey Hollywood uh, actually talked about it because he did upload shit to Pornhub. But one thing that Pornhub really cracks down on is like, immediate fucking uh, when he was talking about like horror movies I think it was like gore or something like that mm. but I think it said it in the title and it was done it was gone in like fucking five minutes and it was just like oh shit but yeah no his video has gotten shit ton of traction there yeah. oddly enough yeah, it's great yeah when's it gonna come well who's gonna come jo Joey Hollywood I don't know. Every other day, maybe, probably. When's, when's he going to come on porn? <laughs> That's up to him. Uh, I had a short little conversation with him. It was fun, because I talked to him about the... the uh, I had a pitch for the kind of a algorithmic contest way to abuse advertising schemes to say, kind of, unless PewDiePie it involved Kazuna I and the oh, show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he was like, I don't know why I was uh, mentioned. I was like, well, I mean, your your last video, Mumpkey, kind of inspired that, so it was really weird. Mm. Um, No, 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 but, like, I don't know. It just feels, like, frustrating because I feel like I feel the same way. It's like, I don't care that I wouldn't be able to be on YouTube anymore. I would just care more that I don't have backups of everything. Yeah. I want it. I want backups of everything. But... My videos. Yeah. I put them up. I want them. I want my fucking videos. If you don't videos. want me to have them to public, okay. But I should have them. Yeah. I think that they shouldn't just take down videos. I think they should just set them to private. Yeah, it seems... I guess because you could still, like, give people, like, the link. Do you even link to private? No, uh, there's, there's unlisted, and that's... Unlisted, that's what it is. No. Unlisted. No, no, like, change them all to private. Yeah. That's... I feel like that's a much easier way of doing it. And it can't it's like mod locked. Yeah. So it can't be unlocked unless you, you know, contact someone at YouTube. Unless YouTube says okay, but then Yeah. Will. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that'd be nice. But uh I don't know, I feel like I'd be in the same situation and I feel really bad. Because I was like genuine tears of like all of his fucking hard work. He made documentaries all the fucking time. Yeah, he made dumb joke videos, too. Well, Efren didn't do his videos. He did research on things. He, he cared about... He clearly liked what he was doing, because that was the thing is that he mentioned before. Is like, he's not just going to keep making things to please everybody. Like, that was like the anime reviews kind of became that a little bit. Like, yeah. He had, like, a story for it. And he, he made things he wanted to make. Yeah, he made... He got an idea, he made it. He didn't try to stick with, like, the same... Oh, I people like these videos, I'm going to keep doing that. He's a... He's a miscellaneous channel, and yeah. and you know what, it's and you, you know that it just it just sucks that something he wasn't just doing it to be a shithead. Yeah, stuff he really liked doing, and like now, no, you can't do that. You can't promoting a thing. I guess we don't like. Yeah, you just now, come off even as though your shit has been up for years, and so many people have already seen them. But now we got to crack down. Yeah, now it's a fucking problem, and I just I don't get it. I really don't. It comes off as like this. <sighs> I'm gonna say it later, actually, because I'm gonna come back to this point. 
because it's uh, actually in my notes. Um, but I think I'll talk about next part. I'm gonna make a video on fucking I Magic on. And I'll try to get it up before the fucking con goes live, which is what? April 28th, 27th? That sounds right. Yeah. Because I have tried contacting them several times to their contact, the main dude, anyone who would pick up. No one answered. Even though the, the main head guy said, you know, great. I'd like your critique. I'd like, you know, you have some experience. I gave him pretty much a whole list down, almost like a resume list down, breakdown of everything. I don't know if he thought I was full of shit or maybe, you know, he just went, oh, okay. And then, like, you know, most of the people were just kind of, just kind of hand off contacts. I tried talking to the contact they gave me. They pushed me off to another person. That person pretty much ignored me for months. And like two months before they were going to do the next con, they're like, hey, are you going? I'm like, why? Why would I? Why would I at this point? It's a third year of a con in, in, a local t in my local town. And I want, I want local. I want Minot. I want Minot to do something wonderful. But I don't think he fully gets the concept of it. The con. Concept of it? Yeah, the con. He's running a con! <laughs> no. I can't. You're fucking I can't legally say that. That's not right and that's not true. Yeah, it's not true. He obviously cares. He wants something really nice, but... I think it's really weird that all the friends that I know that have gone to cons with me, or just not with me, but been at other cons that I've been to, have been like, it's fine. I'm like, I don't fucking see how this is true. First year, excusable. Getting off the ground and maybe working through. Yeah. But what really sells it is that second year, the size didn't change and everything like that. It won't be all critique and shut down. I want to give advice. Same goes for the the game grumps in Death of Dreams. Kind of, I don't I don't want it to be like some fucking you know what's up? Here's Leafy. Here's how. Here's why Magicon sucks, yeah, dude. Fuck you, KYS. Yeah, fuck off. There's no redemption. There's nothing. None of that. None of that should always be the case. I don't. And, and also, especially you know, the grumps was something you did care. About. Yeah, I. So I it's, it's not just coming from like, I've just been seeing this and I think it's bad. It's like no, I loved it at first, and it's kind of like that the, the whole fucking Spoonie situation. Yeah, it's become sad and pathetic yeah. watching a man uh, degrade uh, because you know a man's dreams are dying before your eyes and you can't stop that fire. You can't put out anything. Spoonie's a much worse basket case, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that insensitive? I mean, probably, but... Yeah. Basket of problems. Shithead. Yeah, there we go. But just, it just... The whole thing is that as much as everything can be done, there's area for redemption. There's area for coming back. There's room for improvement. Just because... You, okay, the thing that's probably going to be misconstrued and, and misconceptualized as an argument is, uh, um, you know, just because success, you have success, doesn't mark quality. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, well, he has this much. It's working for him. I go, yeah. Because you had two of the biggest names, uh, one in old school animation and one in uh, and one in fucking just comedy at the time, I guess comedy on YouTube. Mm. But but he left. YouTube. John left because he wanted to actually do the thing he wanted to do. He wanted to create. Mm-hmm. While well, Aaron <laughs> uh, just kept pushing more of himself into the one thing. Yeah, which is great because, you know, that wonderful, wonderful admittance of saying, I really love voice acting. I love it all. So I'll probably go to Grant, Grant, uh, Rant Grumps and ask their help. 
mainly because, you know, I unsubscribed probably, I think, two weeks ago. Mm. And I kind of stopped watching regularly. Oh, God, dude. For me, it's been... It's been a few years. Yeah. Watching been... watching a video every once in a while? Sure. Yeah. Some might be my interest. So... I, I'm still subscribed, and I watch very rarely. Yeah. But it's not... It's it's definitely nothing that's too consistent and uh, like their content. Um, you know, I actually want to make mine full of substance. Uh, but the thing is, is that I think that, that I would like to give advice. Because just shitting on someone makes them go, well, what do I do? And if you don't have advice, I mean, who the fuck are you? What you could say is you can actually give them just suggestions for improvement. You know, maybe... We do stuff. Uh, but it's more that that one's more for character study than my Magicon one is more talking about how and why architecturally and structurally you could make this better. Yeah. Just, you know, work with me. I guess I'm not the only answer, but at least I have, like, years of experience. I had, like, four years of con experience at the time, and I, uh, Ignored. So yeah, I guess that's fucking over. I'm not talking about that shit anymore. Not till the video. Yeah. So. Uh. Oh no, there's still more to talk about that. Oh god. You write it back on there now. I'm not writing it back on there. Okay, we'll reverse the. I'll I'll frame it. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it. Just, put a, just take a. I'll just freeze frame it. Yeah. Just kind of. Okay, just put it on here. Just put it, <laughs> put it on here again. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but there's... there's um. One of the things I wanted to do in that video, when I talk about it, is there's one particular uh, person I want to refer to while I critique it and give suggestions. A man that... Uh, I've known for a while, uh, but had more as an acquaintance. On a public post, visible to everyone, uh, he decided to get real shitty about a friend's response. Uh, I tried not to be argumentative but more debating and breaking down the logic of statements made. And I'm only going to use his first name because I don't want to use his last name. With the preface that I don't want any, I guess, that I have any influence, I don't really think that's the case. Uh, any fucking harassment, doxing, fucking anything like that. It's Jonah. Ethically, here's my defense on why I would bring up his name. He has a podcast. He has some online presence, which, in fact, has a significant bigger presence than mine right now. Uh, regardless of the things I'm working on. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's got his friend and his deep thinker, which uh, I think for his podcast might have a little, little, little fun. Fun time listening to some shit. Uh, kind of disagreed with him a lot throughout the years. But I think uh, <clears throat> comes into a little bit of a conflict of interest when he was managing Guerrilla Games and owning, uh, I think it was owning Guerrilla Games, or at least running it. Um, that he was a main fucking sponsor of a Magic Con. And he supplied games and game consoles and everything. That, of course, he could have just chosen to say nothing, but he decided that he's not going to let somebody shit talk something he sponsored. But for some reason, he decided. To, yeah, for some reason, he also decided to be argumentative and attack uh, someone, even though. Very clearly understood. It is a very, very confusing Facebook post. 
and series of posts that I will have to run you through, but most of the time is that uh, ethicality reason I wanted to make sure that, one, don't fucking harass him, don't do anything, don't fucking attack him, don't do anything. But uh, number two is ethically, I'm not just bringing up a dude I know on the street like who lives three blocks away. I'm bringing up a dude who has an online presence, a website for his podcast, uh, 383 episodes, and, you know, uh, he's gotten reports done by him by, by websites and kind of journalism around the town. Uh, he's on LinkedIn and everything to show kind of his case. The whole thing is that he has a presence. Yeah. Um, that's dead. That's why I have this one. And this one. Um... So, I, I just wanted to make sure that was clear, because that's... I want to make the ethics. Uh, the podcast being called The Good Talk. You know, the good good. That good good. That good good, dude. That just doesn't... <laughs> I don't think that's what, it, uh, what I wanted it to look like, but... But you know, you come. To party. You come to party. Yeah, I come to party. 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 Party City. Uh, party City. Uh, uh, I guess uh, one next part is Media XP. Uh, it's coming back. I'm making progress. We had to stop filming because school and then other changes in my life have made it possible so that it can come back around again. We can start editing. We pretty much filmed three whole fucking episodes. Uh, no, two. And uh, we need to balance and color correct. And make sure that our audio syncs up. Chopping in some editing, and uh, I think it's very similar to a format, except that we don't have an open set room, unlike two guys drinking beer at a VCR repair shop. Uh, we have a very closed-in frame. So, we decided to take that to our advantage. Uh, if anything, I think it's going to work out nice. Uh, Editing-wise, it'll be nice. Uh, making progress, show you a raw clip. Uncolor corrected and unbalanced. That's nice. I guess there's another part. Uh, there was a plan for a cooking show that I wanted you to be in. Gross. And it was just gonna be we were just gonna do Iron Chef dumb shit, just picking an ingredient. Except it'd be the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, make something with all these. You can add whatever, but you can't take out what the main key shit is. That'd be great because. We don't have terminology to make sense of what we make, so it's um, it's a mess. It's a hot bag. It's a hot wet. Hot wet. It's a bit of hot wet. I'd sure. say it's one of them hot uh, wets. About one two hot wets. One two hot wet shoe. One two. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, I got it. Nothing, but I, I did want to do that, and that was kind of interesting because it wanted to be. Kind of like a dumb ketchup show, uh, like ketchup kinds. Yeah, but like uh, one of the ideas is like talking about like a certain topic or movie, but also like, hey, did you watch this show? <laughs> yeah, kind of like the Mega Man Cheesecake Challenge from Silver Mania. Right. What's your favorite Mega Man? Eight. What's yours? Two. Cool. Let's go eat cheesecakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Uh, Sermania is wonderful. But, uh. It was wonderful. It was. Yeah, it's gone now. It's just a tombstone. Yeah. Pizza. Pizza. Where do you want your tombstone? Pizza. Uh. Possibly soon. Uh, I have, uh, new fiber gigs coming out. And I think I want to do. Possibly with a setup similar to this. I don't know why I'm even gesturing over there. That camera's been dead for a little bit. Uh, but one it's of the things... To it anyways. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I want to do... Uh, I want to go back to doing music videos. We'll probably give them longer times. Time frames. Uh, critique. Thought about it. Somebody wants to... You just call it credit. 
Yeah, this is Kodak. So it's trying to sound just, like it's I'll be a fucking stick up there. I'll be nostalgia critic for you. No, no, like a like a critique and rewriting of of, of uh, kind of like stuff. If you like show, it's like, hey, do you want to you know some feedback pretty fast? Mm. Recorded and it's gonna be really close to a mic and show. <laughs> <laughs> You're shit. Good feedback. Thanks, I really appreciate. I'm glad I gave you five bucks for that. <laughs> you did pay five bucks. I'm glad that I glad I got that for what I gave. That's <laughs> cool. Yeah, but you did pay five bucks. It was five bucks. How much for like a battery could you? I can't give the money back. I spent it on soda. <laughs> Bought a couple two liters. Two for five. Sprite. And yeah, yeah. Cranberries. Cranberry sprite? It's for cranberry? The meme. Oh, the meme. Have you heard of it? Have you heard of it? I got a, I got a, I got a finger, finger inside a pulse. Pulsey. Hey, have you seen this uh, channel? That is the plan. It's pretty good. Never seen it. No, I don't think it exists. I could probably look for it. And I wouldn't find it on YouTube. I promise you that. Oh, I was just watching one the other day. I don't think you did. <laughs> Uh, uh, I was also going to start with a fiber thing. Uh, there's also a uh, thinking about doing it. The fucking dumb green screen spokesperson stuff because it's just fun. Oh, it's yeah. entertaining. I think it's dumb. Yeah. Uh, um, Maybe it'll blow up and then you can. Uh, it'll become really expensive, and you get a lot of money for it, and then kind of loses the charm because not anybody can just get them. Uh. Oh, you mean Tyrone. Big man Tyrone. Yeah. Get too big for your bitches. I mean, bridge, bridges. But the Australian dude is fucking great. The guy behind the podium. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember his name, but yeah, no, he's, he's fucking great. People you use both of them. It's form weapons. But, uh, yeah, no, the green screen stuff's fun. I mean, hell, most ever Pete got a million. But also, like, if I didn't treat him too well. No, no. It, well, they treated him well up until a point. Yeah, and they were like... Yeah. But, in addition, I wanted to make a little docuseries, uh, I guess per iteration when it comes around, uh, about health. my brief time on Fiverr. Actually, going through the actual uh, conversations, blanking out names and, you know, anything else. And leaving photos and Facebook profiles of said person, right? Yeah. You know, doxing them, hunting them down. And well, we don't call it that anymore. Shoving my pee-pee into my pants. Better on somebody else, though. That's the problem. Yeah. My pants are made of the skin of others. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. It's gross. Uh, but, but, but I wanted to make it, make it like this idea of like, hey, why don't I show, take you through the music videos that I had to make for people? Because it's been long I enough. Mean one of them? Possibly t uh, two. Two. Two of them. Two of them. Yeah. Um, I really like, I think it was the... Yeah. One of them was uh, the one where we, I just did like a lazy ass shot. Oh, I like the I like I like the the angsty the angsty one where it was punching throwing a shoe at mom. Oh, he fucking loved it. I fucking I genuinely enjoyed that. I think I showed I think I showed my mom. Yeah, uh, it's just so stupid and it made me really happy. Yeah, but that that's the thing I wanted, and uh, since it's been I feel like it's been long enough to to say like I'm gonna do it up. Put it out there for, uh, I guess, Creative Commons and the raw archive footage, and say that yeah, the only thing is, is the music is not, you know, um, mine. Yeah, I think that's and fair. You could put up just like audioless footage. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, for the the archive just, back. Yeah, if you, if you, yeah, for people to fuck with, they just want to. Mm-hmm. Like, and and just that, a big zoom into my butt crack and that one clip. 
Oh yeah, that's wonderful. But yeah, no, I, that's why I kind of keep the clips around so you guys can actually use it. I like this idea. I like doing this. I like doing it so that you guys can have anybody. Anybody can just fucking search it up and just have fun with that. Yeah. Um, like that's pretty much over and done with because I, I, yeah, but boom. Right. Yeah, there's two. For some reason, it looked like just a fucking stack. Okay, well, I gotta do some. I gotta go. I gotta go. I did. Yeah, no, no, but I wanted to do. Wow, day 15. Uh, no, I wanted to do, uh, kind of link to that. I wanted to do documentaries. Uh, some are just kind of like, one of them I had uh, a plan on making a series of documentaries that's going to take a little bit. And I already kind of started a one. Um, but it's going to be like a documentary of uh, mother figures that I've had because they've been uh, apparently very important in my life. And I've had uh, too many. But it'd be nice to give uh, something back about them. Um. Yeah, it's just it feels wholesome, but it feels like it's also like it can take me on a journey of uh, discovery and, and everything. And some of these people are very big in community, and some of them are assholes. Uh, but I also want some shit docs, uh, editing that would separate it from being a fucking vlog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because why not? That seems kind of like the idea that would be kind of really wonderful. Uh, you know, try, try not to be tasting nice that, but you know, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Kind of hard. Well, I mean... Just, I nope, I wasn't going to say it either. I think we were both on the same track. Yeah, let's, I mean, let's just it. let's just not. Ah, uh, oh, man, but I want to so bad. It's okay. I can leave off on the note oh, that I hate his fucking... Leafy? Can I do a leafy thing where I almost say it? Yeah. No. 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 I think I think I can say go ahead and say this is I hate your fucking inspirational shit. Oh yeah, it's absolute garbage. <laughs> eep, eep. Uh, but along that, I have my. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep these ones up, but unfortunately, is uh I have. Wow. Uh, all right. Here's the idea. I just. Realize that was close to by the uh, fucking speaker. Yeah, good. The, the fucking microphone. I have three classes back left from school. Uh, and I'm still trying to go to school, but I'm burnt out. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Uh, I feel like it's trapping me, it's enslaving me, and it's choking me. It's fucking gone. I'm. You gonna dead that item? I'm a dead that item. Dead out your life. D dead. But I, uh, I think if anything, salvage what I've done, make it so that if I change my mind, I can come back, pass these three classes. The very important thing is these three classes uh, have final projects. I intend to make video submissions and kind of reports for all of them. Meaning that means you guys. It's, gonna be, it's just going to be a zoom out. Yeah, my butthole. And you're, you're gonna actually, you're gonna put a note in your butt. And it's gonna poop out, and you're gonna, it's gonna say, "Fuck school, fuck school." Real art house, yeah. you know. I think. Uh, and you just punch your balls for ten minutes. Too. You turn around, you just. Go. I think. Uh, you know, I was gonna say his name. Trying to address that idea. That's fine. That's fine. No, that's Ooh. fine. Don't even want to do it. That's fine. Just ignore me. That's fine. Cool. I'll just ignore you. Okay. Please don't. Oh no. Uh oh. Are we losing cameras left and right? It's. The YouTube's already trying to take us down. Our thoughts are too radical. I'm. I'm gone now. I'm invisible. I can do whatever I want now. I'm naked. Oh. I'm bug naked. With hey. Shin Comrade. Bug naked. Yeah. My flesh bug naked. Off, I'm a big bug man. Big bug man. I'm just gonna say, watch Common Rider because it's fucking dope. All of it's not all of it's good, but yeah. But there's there's there's, 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 there's more. There's there's shit that's really good Common out of it. Is fucking dope. Common Rider W is the best. I don't care what anyone fucking says. That's my favorite so far. 
I, I think one of the things I just <sighs> one of the things I, I I really I really want to get Kamen Rider more stuff. No, I want to I want to watch Zeverman again. <laughs> that's that's a more specific. We'll watch Kamen Rider. Yeah, but but watch it. Watch Kamen Rider. Though. It's good. Speaking of which, uh, while you're down here, I did have a question because it is related. Uh, did you actually want to make that? Make it. Um, two things that we made. Uh, no dies, man. Actually, make it and produce it and make it real. And then we also have a uh, Super Sentai idea if you really want to try for it. Maybe. If if not prototype it, run it, workshop it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um But the idea is with the, the three kind of semester classes, they all have final projects. I can put them out, I can give all the stuff to you, Creative Commons, and uh one of them involves selling a lot of games and being efficient. So in that aspect uh we get games out of it. You know, I get to actually have a ground to stand on. So, uh, other than that, one of my final projects was about, was databases and its ethics of interrupting a learning AI. Mm. Learning AI algorithm. Which is, which is why I, I said something that I should probably bring up later from, uh, uh, Monkey. Your the idea of an alg of you interrupting a learning AI algorithm that is meant to learn from people's habits or the account's habits and recommend things that they like, but then you start injecting interruptions in that, saying, uh, "Yeah, don't look at that content. We won't recommend that." Oh, do you, did you know what H Bomber guy did? He made like a couple years ago. He made a blocker. Yeah, yeah. blocks people that have opinions he doesn't like. Yeah, it's fucking great. And it's like a hard list, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it doesn't get updated. Yeah, the, the deep the description is just like these several people done. I mean, a hard choice. It's not triggered off of tags or words. No, it's just. It's just really weird. Fuck these specific people. It just seems like it's you didn't make it with dynamacy, so it becomes really, really limited in use. Yeah, it's like you're just being an asshole. It's like you made a poorly thought out program. Well, it just it's not. I mean, he's just, I think it's kind of a petty thing more than anything. Yeah. I don't know if he was trying to make anything sophisticated, he's just being an ass. Yeah. Well, that, though, that part I did hear about, like, I just... Out. But the thing is, is that, like, with that kind of idea, is that ethically, if, 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 uh, or, or, or the kind of suggestions of things, of videos and YouTube, uh, feels like it should be actually used, should be done, should be fucking explored. But it never feels like it. It never feels like, um, we're doing it, especially when you're doing things like taking things out of the algorithm, demonetizing it. And, what was it? It's less likely to get suggested if it's age gated or copyright strike or just copyright claim, not strike claim. Yeah. Um, copy strike. Yeah, copy strike. The fucking um, but anything like that, anything like that has been completely and utterly fucking. Uh, it's it's questionable because like they started age gating Fire Emblem uh, things and I actually did cite this for my pitch my pitch video that I actually did and I can actually show that uh, right here it's pretty long it's like ten minutes sure right. put it up in the on the corner thing in the cloud yeah because I'm a retard it doesn't it understand but no the the the, the um one of the Fire Emblem characters the can't cloud. be named. Because uh, the Google DeepMind actually scans uh, content and video, and then um, auto-made, uh, it uses the auto-generated um, captions. captions, 
trying to pick up speech. One character's name consistently gets uh, marked as a um, a smoking product. Mm. Yes. And... Oh, I think I... Yeah, okay, I think I've heard of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it, 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 it kept doing this, and I named it, I named it after in the actual video, but, like, the entire point is that, like, it's not a name. But they, the entire Fire Emblem community had to rename him to get around that. That's so lame. Yeah. It's dumb. But that's it, and it's gay. Uh, but that's kind of ethics, and I, I like that. Uh... One thing I did want to do recently is uh, interviews. I should have done that. Yeah, I've told you. I know. Your loud fucking claps. I can't really the say... The thunder of the gods. I can't really say who, but I have a few. One that I wanted to do for a while. Uh, two, uh, one squid brought up. Uh, one, uh, I guess I can pitch this one. It was... Uh, I, um, not to get too into, like, that fucking cringy territory, but I wanted the idea of getting someone from someone who who actually posts and goes on often on 4chan. Uh, you know, from someone who actually knows of the community and, you know, thinks about it, rather than a journalist who goes at it like they're... Who is this 4chan, though? Who is this, uh, 4chan? What does he want with my, my cake, my, my credit card? Why did it blow up vans? What are battle toads? Why are they in my house? You know, at least a journalistic perspective from someone who's not a complete fucking moron. It would be kind of fine and wonderful to hear. Yeah. You know, uh, to ask questions, of course, keeping them anonymous if they wish to be, but most likely that's kind of the idea. Because as well as any personal uh, information that gets out, I don't want it to be. I kind of want that that idea of his anonymity to uh, be, well, anonymous, because that's the way he wants it. And I think that's something that I would like for him to uh, be able to keep while still admitting and talking in depth about community-wise and other stuff like that. And while it isn't the whole site, it's one perspective that can give perspective on other things. But yeah, it's still somebody that's been in the site, at least. Yeah. On the site. From and as someone asking questions who didn't, you know, just look at our 4chan for two seconds and go, uh, 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 I'm scared. Yeah. You know, fuck you. Uh, but, um, the, uh, I'm also being a part of a big project, apparently, uh, for International PewDiePie Day. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, my involvement's been pretty great. And I loved what they're help, uh, letting do. Uh, but life shit. Uh, therapist. Med management. Trying to learn more music. And learn how to do music. Starting from the middle rather than going from the beginning. Uh, and then, uh, you know, making games. I guess that's the shortest part that I wanted to keep. But the responses to a few videos uh, that I want to make my videos on. I have... Uh, I want to make kind of a good comprehensive guide to mental health and ADHD. But then have a follow-up. We can talk about Momokun and her statement. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's... There is some legitimacy to what she said. However, it's not all legitimacy. Yeah. That's the only fucking disclaimer I can put out there. Is that... There's a point, but it shouldn't be the whole point. Yeah. And, uh, I think she, uh, I think Philip the Fuckass, which is coincidentally the next topic I want, is I put Philip the Fuckass and loss of integrity and common sense. Uh, a bit of a hyperbolic uh, statement for a title, uh, but uh, admittedly. They say the click. Well, more like a, I'm still a bit ruffled about the fucking the gymnastics thing. Gymnasty? Yeah, the gymnasty, dude. 
That's me, Jim Nasty. Throwing down these sick beats. Jim Nasty dick. I got a nasty dick, bro. It's gross. I got a bad dick. I talk more tree than a squirrel. I'm so fly. Y'all still at the terminal. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, but the, the, the idea was that I just, I don't... It's very obvious someone's in pain. And one, you can infer that because it is a news channel, a news show, you'd have some type of personality and insight into anything. Even if you don't do any gymnastics. Somebody forcing them down so it causes like fucking hamstring and joint and fucking like uh, groinal damage. Into, forcing someone down into splits. And you're like, well, I don't know. Is this is this what gymnastics do? Is this what gymnast people do? Even if it is. It looks like it's horrid. Bad. Yeah. Someone's in fucking pain. And it, like... Well, I've never been to... You know, I've never been a, a Chinese woman who got her feet bound. But, you know, maybe that's just what they like to do. Maybe that's what they do. Maybe this is normal. I don't know. Hit me yeah, up in the comments I've below. I've seen the x-ray where the, literally the woman's foot is like this. Yeah. The foot bent like this. But but maybe that feels good. Yeah. Maybe that feels good. And then the next episode he addressed it as apparently a whole bunch of fucking uh, g gymnasts fucking replied to it and went, You're fucking stupid. No, that's not good. Maybe you could do some a little bit of journalism. You are a news source. And uh, maybe look up on a topic. No, um, I just want to see what other people say first. I just got a report. Yeah. Want to play that clip? Sweet, sweet clip. Ooh, I love it. But it, it's just, it's, that's fucking frustrating that he had to be told that. Not because it's just like, I think with a little bit of common sense I can go, Someone's crying and in pain from this. From stretches and exercises. Yeah. Like, you are forcibly holding them in a position which, in which they are gaining pain and crying. If it was rehabilitation, I think there'd be a little bit more leeway of that type of context. But... Like, you could still make the statement of, like... You could still be like, this looks horrible... Maybe I don't know everything, but it, this looks bad. Like, you could still make a statement. You don't have to make it definitive. Yeah. But you can be like, to me this looks pretty awful, but maybe I don't know everything. Yeah. You know, you can, you can sort of, you know. You can, you can sort of reason it out. how you feel. Yeah. But you don't have to say it as facts. Yeah. If you, you don't have to go, oh, she's being fucking tortured. It could be an opinion piece. Uh, how weird. Uh, Maybe it's also kind of pissed me off that his fucking Friday show no longer exists in the fact that he used to do Friday show where he would pick up other topics that people request, but also he would fucking reply to comments to increase engagement. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Something, no. Okay. But yeah, no, he would just reply to things. But now it seems like he just doesn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. There's not really a good reason why you wouldn't, because that's like almost an easy production day. Because in the journalism office, you could just be like, well, let's respond to things throughout the week. And yeah. I appreciate it. Deep dives, fine. Everything else, fine. Hey, let's start a news network, fine. Memology fucking covered that. You know what news network you got? I don't know. What are you surveilling? I don't know. Maybe we're making writing articles on your fucking beard hair. Do you want the uh, magnificent bastard beard gel and kit cleaning and shit like that? You want you want Dollar Shave Club except just to clean your beard and style it? Get rid like a big cunt. You all want the big cunts now, boy. What movie is that from? Uh, Godfather Part 5. Classic. Classic. 
Closet. That's a Blanca. Closet Blanca. Blanca, but from Street Fighter. He's gay now. A case of Blanca from Street Fighter. Uh, uh, which also kind of put me into uh, a video of an analysis I want to do on Rusty Cage. I've been very infatuated with it. And very, very um, enveloped in that type of idea. Doing that. Uh, of course, there's also the idea of just responding to videos. Uh, we do that down here. Because, uh, you know, all we watch are cringe comps. Yeah, we just watch cringy things. Yeah, we just, there's nothing that we watch. That's we've it. Never, we've never watched anything else. Nothing. Yeah. We're just garbage people. Mm hmm. Uh, expect other things, reviews, and I'll always try to keep things up. Uh, I guess the plan, why I kept this board out, uh, was for the project. Uh, if you care, uh, games plan for my capstone project is an efficiency plan, where I'm going to make as many games as I can in a short amount of time, a condensed area of time. So, what we have is we have, uh, you know, start with simple games, mobile games, endless games, uh, to, uh, we can go through, you know, any kind of uh, engine kind of games uh, use add-ons to make it so you can do it without code um, doing it with pixel art and RPG in a box which is also a very very fast uh, box uh, engine to say here here's everything you need to make an RPG boom go uh, we have game maker which also kind of has a lot of things that you can just put in and plug in uh, but the thing is is that we have this entire fucking list of things which are kind of um, variable but at the same time, I will have an efficiency report of how much time it's going to take me to go through these. Most of these actually have time records of uh, being... Yes? What a question. Um, I can't read. What is it? I don't... I don't, I don't read. I've chosen oh, yeah. not to read, so... Yeah. You having those words up is very frustrating to me. Because you're kind of forcing me to almost read, but I don't really... I don't, I don't read. You want a beer? Okay. Well, that's cool. Ah! Ah! Yeah, uh, but that's the whole thing is that that's my my instant product and, and it's the efficiency report that I will write and um, essentially get to post it out and put it up as a professional kind of uh, thing to say, hey, um, I can do more than a AAA company. Because there are free resources. There are free and there are easy resources in order to make the games that you want. And there are shared art. Yeah, we could hire a bunch of people. Yeah. But you could also not take eight months to release mediocre garbage. Well, I get it that, yeah, it takes time, but it's also like... Uh, this kind of bypasses the idea of uh, company run because this doesn't run in company time where people have to be paid overtime. That's that's the kind of the biggest difference that has to be done is uh, you know you, you're you're fueled by passion, you pay yourself and you pay other people that you you know collaborate with or choose to get things from. Mm. Uh, whether or not you commission things or, you know, get free and collective things. Um, otherwise, uh, to do a video on the process so everybody else can see, um, I have... Uh, the video on the process will also include its efficiency quality ratio. Uh, because that's important. Because just being efficient isn't enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. Uh, the thing is, is... There we go. Down to one. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, now we're down to one. The major point being is that uh, efficiency isn't always the best and isn't always the whole fucking ending. Uh, the main point. Um, efficiency... Man, I had a point gone now. Uh, I have something for network uh, security, which might be project uh, 
of just like structural and then we'll do a plain outline but essentially it'll be essentially a good fucking uh, opportunity to give content in other cases um uh, thank you billy for being along for the ride i know that thank it took you for having me yes you're welcome i will come now you i'm not gonna i'm not i don't no i my mom's calling Cool. She's calling to tell me uh, nothing new. It's gonna be cool for you. Yeah, you know I'm not picking up that phone. Fucking weird. Uh, in other cases, I think uh, things, Billy. I don't know. I, I just wanted to, to be able to talk and, and kind of make it a conversation that we could actually talk about and discuss. <laughs> Feeling half like a bot- podcast, but half also like an update. And not to mention, I'm probably going to do color values and fucking freak the fuck out of this green screen and the, the blue fucking towel behind your back, the goddamn pillow you kept bringing up. Because you know why? I like it. I like doing shit like that. I like fucking with cat corruption. I like overreaction. I love that data degradation. And, uh, I think that's all I have. I'm going to kick it. I'm going to kick the webcam. Good. Good do it. That's it. That's a wrap. Bye, because... Micus, Ficus. Oh no. What? Has it not been recording the whole time? Nope. Uh, I need to check the other one. That's why. I was like looking at I'm like, oh no, what happened? <laughs> so. I'm gonna go eat my cheeseburger. So I can have cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, that was awful. I, I think that was the worst. No, I think it was very funny. It's very funny. I'm, I'm pretty funny, so. I'm like, I'm like the next Dane I'm Cook. Top I, I'm, t- I'm top ten. I'm top ten. I'm top ten Dane Cook, dude. You don't even know. Top 10 Dane Cook. <laughs> Doesn't say Dane Cook, so you're like... <laughs> Top 10 Dane Cook, dude. Dane Cook what? <laughs> Dane Cook. What I said. Number three. Starts with number three. Dane Cook. Um. Number oh, two. Dane Cook. Dane Cook. Dane Cook. You're like Dane Cook, am I right? Dane Cook. <laughs>